Take the legs to tabletop. So have your knees over the hips, the shins parallel to the ceiling. Cup your hands, interlace the fingers behind the back of the head, the base of the skull. Take a deep breath and on your next exhale, start lifting the head, the neck and the shoulders off the floor. Try not to push the chin to the chest. Feel almost like there is a tennis ball right underneath your chin. So there is space between the chin and the throat, and there is length in the neck. And as you lift the head, the neck, the shoulders off the floor, continue to feel that the front ribs is sinking into the back. Hold it there for another breath or two. And then exhale, lower the arms down, lower your feet down. Take a few regular breaths just to rest. Legs to tabletop. And take a breath and exhale, lifting the head, neck, shoulders off the floor. Space between the chin and the throat. Lift up as high as you can. Front ribs in, pushing down to the back. Hold it. Two more breaths. And then exhale. Release, lower down. One more side. Legs to tabletop. Ready? Take a breath in. And exhale, lift and hold. One. Two, three, pressing the back down, four, and five. Release, lower all the way down. I'm going to add some leg movements. Keep supporting the head. Again, keeping the neck long. Don't push the chin too much down to the chest. Legs back to tabletop. Take a breath and exhale, lifting up. Now stay up there, take a breath and exhale, straighten the right leg and lower the right leg down any amount. Inhale back to tabletop and exhale the left leg reaching out and lower down. See what's happening to your abdomen. Try not to let the back flatten and lift off the ground. Inhale. And exhale, keep pressing back down. Keep pressing the front ribs in. Exhale. Inhale and exhale the left. One more time on each side. Inhale. Exhale, straighten the right. Very slowly, inhale. Exhale, no rush. So just really feel what's happening in the core. Inhale. Exhale, release down. Just hug the knees into the chest for a moment. Make circles with your knees one side. And circling the knees to the other side. So now we're going to straighten both legs at the same time. Place the feet back down. Support your head. Bring the legs up to tabletop. Take a breath and exhale, lifting the head, neck, and shoulders. Hold it there. Let the front ribs sink in. And take a breath and exhale, straighten both legs any amount. Hold for a second and inhale, bend the knees back to tabletop. And exhale, keep pushing the back down. And inhale. And exhale, two more times. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Bend the knees into the chest, hug the knees in. And this time rock back and forth a couple of times until you rock all the way up to a seated position. Open the knees. And take star pose for a few breaths. Drop the head down. Back up to sit. Bring the feet on the floor. 
bring the hands behind the back of the knees and take a breath in. And exhale as you empty out, start rolling down. Lower back, middle back, upper back. All the way down to the floor. And inhale, start lifting the head, neck, shoulders off the floor. Exhale, crawl your hands, the back of the legs. To come all the way up. Exhale, stay there. Take a breath in. And exhale, slowly crawl the hands down the back of the leg. Lower the lower back, middle back. Upper back, very slowly down. You can keep walking the arms or the hands up and down the leg or take the arms over the head. Inhale. Don't use the arms to lift you. Use the core strength. Lift, lift, lift all the way up. And take a breath in. And exhale, slowly come down. We're going to take it one last time. Inhale, start lifting the head, neck, shoulders, still keeping the neck long. And exhale, come all the way up. And take a breath in here. We're going to roll all the way down. Exhale. One segment of the spine at a time. And hug the knees into the chest. Again, just, just rock a little up and down. And then lower the left leg down on the floor. If you want to use a strap to come to a hamstring stretch, grab a strap. Otherwise, you can just bring your hands behind the back of the leg. Stay here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Take a breath and exhale, lower the right leg down, switch sides. Loop the belt around your left foot or interesting your hands behind your left hamstring, the back of the knee, anywhere behind the leg. Take another five more breaths, inhale. Exhale, one. And inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. And exhale, five. Release, lower the left leg down. Bring the arms alongside the body, pressing the arms down. And keep your left leg anchored on the ground and lift the right leg up. We're going to do some hip circles, leg circles. Now we're engaging the core as a stabilizer. Right, That's what you need to stabilize your pelvis as you are doing the leg action. Okay, so start engaging the core canister 360 degrees and make inward circle with your leg. Go in and out and up, in and out and up. It's counterclockwise circles. Three, two more. And it's not about how big the circle is, it's about how much you can stabilize your pelvis and finish your fifth one and we switch sides going out and then and up go slowly and just really feel how much 
the whole body is completely still. It's one of the best core exercises you can do. Like just recruiting the core to stabilize. And bend the knee into the chest. And release the right leg down. And pressing the arms down will help. And anchoring your right leg down will help. Now lift the left leg up. Again, five circles, this time clockwise and then counterclockwise. Bring it in and out and up. In and out and up. In and out and up. No wiggling in the pelvis. Play in and out and up. Two more times. Which direction? One, two, three, four, and five. Hug the knee into the chest. All right. Now bring both knees in. Rock all the way up and come to star pose one more time. Now come up to sit, bring the knees together, and come onto your hands and your knees. Now come to a place that is middle and neutral. You want to not come into this banana shape in the spine, and at the same time, you don't want to flex your thoracic spine. You don't want to round your upper back. Can you just find that middle ground? And you start again to knit in your lower ribs, feeling the fullness of your back ribs. Now keeping that position, just straighten one leg into almost like a plank pose. And then lower the knee down, try the other leg. Straighten the other leg back. See what is happening to the ribs. Can you keep that in neutral? Straighten one leg first. And can you keep the integrity of the core? Straighten the other leg so coming into your plank pose. Notice you're not in cat, you're not in cow. And just simply coming to the neutral, engaging the front and the back ribs just as much. And gently engaging the abdominal wall and use that support to take some weight off your hands. And on your next inhale, press back to a downward facing dog. We'll shift back and forth a few times. Inhale, shifting forward to plank pose. And exhale. Again, initiate the movement from the core, press back to downward facing dog. 